We're in VMware Workstation 14 Player, and in this particular version, it does have the ability to add an additional drive or storage while the server or computer is running. So you can see that my virtual machine is running, and it's a Windows Server 2016. So I can go up to Player, I go to Manage, I go to Virtual Machine Settings, and from here I can click on Add, then I can go to Hard Disk, Next. We'll just leave the default here to uh, SCSI, create a new virtual disk, and we're going to change this from 60 gigabytes, we'll just do 5 gigabytes. And we want to store this virtual disk as a single file. If we store it into multiple files, you can do that as well, but it's just easier to find if it's going to be one file. And there's our file. Let's go ahead and click Finish and click OK. Now we go into Server Manager, go to Tools, go to Computer Management. You could also do this under File and Storage Services in Server Manager as well. Go to Storage, Disk Management, and we now see a new hard disk. Go ahead and click OK. And there is our 5 gigabyte drive. Let's right click on it. And we can see that it's running. So we don't have to do anything here, but we can take it offline if we decide we don't want it anymore. If you see the option to initialize it, go ahead and do that. In this case, it went ahead and did that when we did that little wizard. Right click on the drive itself, choose new simple volume, next, next. We'll choose the default F drive. And we'll do a quick format on NTFS and finish. And now we have our F drive. If we go into File Explorer, we can see there is our 5 gigabyte F drive. So that's how we can add storage while the server is running in VMware Workstation.